One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had an evil spirit that enabled her to predict the future. She earned a lot of money for her owners by telling fortunes. She followed Paul and said, shouting, these men are servants of the Most High God. They announced to you how you can be saved. She did this for many days until Paul came so upset that he turned around and said to the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I order you to come out of her. The spirit went out of her that very moment. When the owners realized that their chance of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the authorities in the public square. They brought them before the Roman officials and said, these men are Jews and they're causing trouble in our city. They're teaching customs that are against our law. We are Roman citizens and we cannot accept these customs or practice them. And the crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas. Then the officials tore their clothes off Paul and Silas and ordered them to be whipped. After a severe beating, they were thrown into jail and the jail was ordered to lock up tight. Upon receiving this order, the jailer threw them into the inner cell and fastened their feet between heavy blocks of wood. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake which shook the prison to its foundations. At once, all the doors opened and the chains fell off all the prisoners. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prisoners' doors open, he caught thought that the prisoners had escaped, so he pulled out his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, don't harm yourself, we're all here. The jailer called for a light, rushed in and fell trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas. Then he led them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they answered, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your family. And they preached the word of the Lord to them and to all the others in the house. And at that very hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds, and he and all his family were baptized at once. Then he took Paul and Silas into his house and gave them some food to eat, and he and his family were filled with joy because they now believed in God. Paul and Silas saved the jailer's life by convincing the prisoners not to flee. Under Roman law, a jailer was given so much money to maintain the jail. In fact, jailers did pretty good. But here's the thing. If someone escaped the jail, then the jailer would have to pay the fine for the person who escaped. And the Romans didn't care if the jailer was knocked down by an earthquake or not, whatever it was. And if all those prisoners had escaped, the jailer would have no chance of ever paying off the debt and would be lucky if he, was, he and his family were just sold into slavery or maybe killed to death, killed. But um, Paul and Silas convinced everyone to stay put. This is a miracle to the jailer. He never would have expected it. And as a result, he's converted to the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes if we have enough courage and if we're bold enough, we can do an act of great kindness to someone that they simply do not see coming. They simply do not expect. And it just might be that is the moment that they too open their hearts to the presence of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. <music>